Hey guys, it's Lisa. I'm here at Disneyland today and well, it's gonna be a DCA type of day because I kind of have a plan. I don't know, something's wrong with me today. But yes, I do have a plan because this is the last day for the Food and Wine Festival. So I wanna get some food and wine food while I still can. And then it's also halfway to Halloween. So we are celebrating that here at the Disneyland Resort. And well, we definitely have to get those treats. And then lastly, I wanna get a look at some of the new merch that's come out because I mean, there's been some cute stuff coming out. But yeah, I have a plan today. Something feels odd, but also good, you know? It's gonna be a good day. I just narrowly missed the trolley. I love seeing the trolley. When they brought that back to California Adventure, it made everything better. Just the sound, those little dings it makes. We love the trolley. We also love the trolley people, you know? We love them. But anyway, I am thankfully very hungry right now, so I am ready to maximize my day, eat as much Disney food as I can. Today's gonna be a really good day. I have a feeling. I don't wanna jinx it, but I have a feeling. <laughs> I came over to Paradise Garden Grill, which depending on the time of year or whatever festival is going on in DCA, they switch out the menu. So right now they have a bunch of vegan food just for food and wine. So I'm really excited. I have not even been here the entire time that food and wine has been going on. I don't know how that's even possible, but yes, as much as I do come here, like, cause I come here a lot, I still can't even get to do everything or try all of the food that I want to try. So yeah, I'm like touching this. I feel like I'm in a bush cause I keep touching this. Anyway, okay, let's get food. This is the menu over at Paradise Garden Grill, and as you can tell, each of the food items has a little green leaf icon, and that means that it's plant-based, like fully plant-based. I'm very excited. I think that I'm gonna get the Impossible Euro Fries. They look the most unique, and also I'm just like in the mood for that. But then also, they do have a, looks like a peach blueberry cobbler that's also vegan. What? Okay, a kid's quesadilla, mac and cheese. Hmm, okay, I think I'm gonna get the Euro fries though. That sounds the best to me. I really cannot believe that I have not been to Paradise Garden Grill this entire time, especially because I love plant-based food. I love impossible meat. I love vegan food. I like vegetarian stuff. And this is all vegetarian, vegan, and I'm I'm excited for it. So I ended up getting something that is probably on the weirder end of the scale, but if you come to Disney, you have to get the more unique food, you know? Like whatever is the most unique, you wanna get that. So these are the Impossible Euro Fries. They're waffle fries topped with Euro Spiced Impossible ground beef, cauliflower cheese sauce, tomatoes, cucumbers, onions, tzatziki, and pita bread. And I didn't even realize when I was reading the description, it is in fact like on a pita bread, like a little Euro, but the innards are fries. I don't like that word. I don't like that I said that. <laughs> but let me get a bite. It looks, okay, I love saucy things. This looks really saucy. And I was most intrigued by the cauliflower cheese sauce, but I don't really see it. Oh wait, I do see it. It's all the way at the bottom. This is really saucy. I'm a sauce girl though. I can handle it. Okay, I wanna get, let me get some red onion. There we go, okay. Perfect bite. It is a little bit overly saucy maybe, but I did say I was a sauce girl. Wait, yum, that is so good. That is so good. First off, the impossible meat is spiced perfectly. It did say it was zero spiced meat, but they it just has like a ton of flavor, a really good flavor. And it's not overwhelming because the tzatziki sauce complements it really well. It has that kind of like yogurt taste, you know, that kind of sour taste. It's not like sour, it's like slightly tart in an incredibly pleasant way, as we all know, as most of us know what tzatziki sauce is. <laughs> I'm having problems right now, but really good. And the red onion is fantastic. And I didn't get cucumber, but they only gave me like three pieces of cucumber, but that's okay. It's gonna be very fresh and a little bit crisp and watery because cucumber is just watery. <laughs> I actually love this. I wonder what the cheese sauce tastes like though. Let me get, oh no, I already see a problem. It gets really soggy at the bottom because there's cheese sauce all at the bottom. Okay, ooh, really soggy. Look at this, <laughs> as I wave it in front of your face, okay. That's a really mild flavor. Like, it tastes slightly cauliflower-y, but it doesn't have like a ton of flavor. It's warm though, it's very warm and it's a warm day, so maybe I don't like the cheese sauce as much, but the tzatziki is nice and cooling, and I love these. Yeah, this was a good choice, I really like this. 
I did run into a problem about halfway through and that's that it gets incredibly soggy. You can see all of the mushiness going on and usually I like a good mushy texture, a chewy, soft texture for food, but mm, maybe not here. Although I bet that pita bread tastes really great. If you were to scrape everything off and just eat it, because that's like kind of my jam, just a lot of carbs with some sauce on it, that would probably be great. I sadly will not be scraping off all those toppings so I can eat the delicious, delicious pita bread with all that sauce because I do try to avoid gluten and dairy in my regular day-to-day -day life, which is really difficult here at Disneyland, so I do make exceptions. But in case you have an allergy, Disney is amazing about making accommodations or just like making sure that you have all of the knowledge you need to be able to order what you want. And in case you don't know, on the mobile order like window, so when you have like a mobile order when you're making one, you can scroll all the way to the bottom and then there's an allergy friendly menu. So it'll go by allergy saying like what you can order and then you can order directly from there. Or if you're like me and you have to combine two things like gluten and then dairy, then I would recommend you actually have to like go up and order it with the cast member, but they're amazing about it. So if you have an allergy, don't worry about it. You'll be able to find stuff. One of the reasons why I wanted to come to Food & Wine was because I still have tabs on my Sip & Savor Pass. I can't believe it, but yes, I do. Actually, I can totally believe that. Are you kidding me? I never really use them all up. But anyway, okay, so I came all the way to this booth that's like tucked over by Grizzly River Run. It's kind of off the beaten path because the ordering line is usually the longest line. It's the most intimidating line. Typically, like if you order there, the line would stretch all the way over there. But I came to this one because I knew the line would be Look, no line. Amazing. So yeah, that's a tip. If you come to any of these food festivals, try to go off the beaten path to order the food because the line will probably be minuscule. Only two tabs though. That's all I have left. So I have to be kind of like judicious in my decision making. What am I going to decide on? Probably some old favorites. You know, I don't want to be too risky because some of the food here is a little bit risky. But yeah, I think actually, you know what? I know what I want to get. Items have been ordered, so easy, and I did officially use up all the tabs on my Sip and Saver Pass. Can we get a tiny round of applause, please? Because I never do that. I never actually finish the Sip and Saver Passes, but here we are. There's always a first time for everything. Does anyone else get super anxious when they have this receipt? Because this is what you need to get all of your food items. So if you lose it, you're in trouble. And I always have anxiety, although I've never lost it. Kudos for me, I suppose, but one day I'm sure I will. I don't want to, we're not manifesting it, knock on wood. But anyway, okay, I'm actually already hungry even though I ate so many of those fries. I don't know how. Well, Disney works up an appetite in you, right? But anyway, we're gonna go get the first item that I ordered. Actually, okay, I only ordered two, so it's not that exciting. I don't mean to get distracted on my way to getting food, but I just wanted to point out it's a bubble wand. I have never seen this bubble wand before. And yes, I'm an adult pointing out a bubble wand because, well, I love the bubbles around here. Look at that. Okay, let's see how much these are. I don't even know how much they are. I have a feeling they're like $20. There's no price on it, but they also will refill it for you. So wait, okay, don't take my word on it. I'll verify, but I'm pretty sure that if it runs out of the bubble mixture while you're here, you can get it refilled. And then they do have this one too, but Okay, I love this. Look at Grogu. He's so cute. Sometimes they get him right, sometimes they get him wrong. I think they got him pretty right, right there. But sadly, this is like not a bubble wand. It's a light up wand. Womp womp. I take it back. I lied. It is not free. It's $2 and it's just like, you know, a little bottle of bubble solution, but $2 isn't bad, you know? You could just like have bubbles all day, bubbles forever. Why don't I own a bubble wand? I should get one. No, I shouldn't. But I just love the bubbles. I went over to California Craft Brews, which is a booth that I have not visited this year, mainly just because it has like a lot of beer and I like beer, but I just like don't like drinking it at Disney. You know, it makes me feel tired and I need all the energy. And yeah, I'm just not a drinker here at Disney, but I ended up getting something that was new last year. They brought it back this year and I have a feeling they'll probably bring it back in future years just because it's a fan favorite. So this is the IPA sausage dog. It's a sausage dog on a soft pretzel roll with onion pepper jardinier, cheddar cheese sauce, and malt vinegar onion crunch. And like I said, I didn't get it this year, but now I am obviously. And I remember when I first got it, wow, it is, <gasps> I forgot napkins. Oh no. <laughs> I just like got my hand in some of the cheese. So 
That's okay. Anyway, let's take a bite of it. It looks delicious and the bread is so soft. I love pretzel bread. Okay. Oh, so messy. <laughs> This is just as good as I remember. This is incredible. So first off, it's a really good mixture of textures. So it has like the really soft doughy bread. And then the sausage itself has like a snap to it, which is always good. And then the cheese makes it like kind of like mushy. And yeah, that's okay. Whenever I say it, it like doesn't sound appetizing, but just trust me, I love a good mushy food and it's mushy in a, in a good way, you know? And then the Jardiner gives it a little bit of like vinegar, sour taste to it. This is so good, really savory, really salty. And then the meat is like pretty fatty tasting. Really good, this would go great with a beer. If only I would like have a beer here, but this puts me in the mood to have a beer. So good, and yes, I bet this is gonna come back next year. It's just delicious. Love this, 10 out of 10, really fantastic. The only thing is that I definitely need a napkin. <laughs> it's okay, but yes, this is totally worth it. Look at all those salty bits, do you see like the salt crystals on the pretzel bread. The bread is so good. Our very last stop for food and wine is Nuts About Cheese. I've come to this booth quite a few times this year and the year before and the year before that and it's because they have one item that I really like. I mean, the other items I like don't care about here but this one item is so good. So this is the Mickey Mouse shaped macaron made with Snickers. It's chocolate Mickey macaron filled with caramel ganache and Snickers bar pieces. It's so good. This thing is divine. It is a classic of food and wine. Like you can't say it's food and wine unless you have this. And if they were to take it away next year, I would be devastated, <laughs> but it's so good. It's like really chocolatey and it has a good like peanut flavor in it because it does have like chopped up peanuts on top. And then the Snickers in the middle, oh my goodness. They give it the best texture. Like it's nice and chewy. And then the macarons themselves, like Disney excels at making macarons. Like they just make them so fantastic. So yes, I got this originally with the intention of like, oh, I'll eat an ear and then I'll take the head and the ear home with me. But you know what? It's warm today, okay? It's warm. And yes, it's true, my arch nemesis, Summer, is here. And I hate that, okay? And I hate it partially because it's making the cookie kind of melty, like all the chocolate on it is melty. And I'm really sad about it. Even like the filling is like extra gooey because of the warmth. And now I don't know what to do. I mean, I could just like eat it. In case you're wondering, have I ever eaten an entire one to myself in all like one sitting before? I have. I'm not proud to admit it, okay, but I have. And I don't wanna do it this time because I think it would just make my stomach hurt. <laughs> it's too much sugar. But yeah, I, what do I do? Oh, and then also, okay. So I always forget to bring like a Ziploc or anything with me. But in case you're in a pinch, I did go to Trolley Treats, which is one of the confectionaries, and I got a cellophane bag. So if you ask them for either like one of the paper sleeves that they give the treats in, or he just like gave me a cellophane bag this time around, then you can take your treat home. But unfortunately, I don't think this can come home with me. I think it's gonna get messy and it's still warm out. It's gonna get warm in my backpack. It's gonna remain warm. <laughs> oh, this makes me sad. <laughs> Look at it. See, the frosting is just like kind of gooing out a little bit too much. And then the chocolate on the outside, see how melty it is? Ah, <sighs> just a gigantic sigh. Even on, oh my, it's dripping. This is terrible. I came inside of Elias Co. here at DCA because I thought it would be less crowded than going into, well, into World of Disney, which can be a madhouse, especially as the day goes on and on. It gets more crowded, more crowded, more crowded. But anyway, I did find what I was looking for. I was looking for the Disney Decades Collection. This is the newest one. These are the 1940s. And in case you're still looking for the 1930s, it looks like they have everything. 
still in stock. I mean, I don't think this was like, I don't think any of the decades have been like wildly popular. Like I haven't seen any of it sell out, but let's start with the ears. Cause I'm the most excited for the ears, mainly because while well, they feature Donald, look at him, he is so cute. So it's all three of the Caballeros and it's, this is like an enamel pen, but it does have like a really nice faded colorway to it. So it looks a little bit extra vintage, but then the rest of the ears are so vibrant and I love the pom-poms. How cute. Oh, there's something like hard in the middle. Interesting, okay. It's not like they're light up ears or it's like a battery, you know what I mean? It's like very firm in the middle, but then full embroidery. And then I think there's embroidery on the back too. Yes, full embroidery, how pretty. And the colors are just so nice. They remind me of like pink lemonade. <laughs> And then something that's really nice about all the ears in the Decades collection is that they have a special tag right there. And then they also have a special plaque on the side. I just think that is such a cool detail. Okay, so these are, I think they're all running $40. Yeah, $40. Each of the Decades collections has had its own little plush set and these are so cute. Like the other ones were cute, the three little pigs and then Steamboat Willie and Minnie. Those were cute, but these are adorable. So you get five of them for $65. And also all of the plush sets come in this little bag. I think that's a nice detail, but okay, look at them in all of their glory. <laughs> Aren't they so cute? They remind me of My Little Pony, but no, they are the baby Pegasus. Pegasi? Um, I don't know why it feels right to say Pegasi. <laughs> but yes, they are the baby Pegasus from Fantasia and they all look so sweet. Look, they have different expressions and they're so colorful and they're so cute. You just wanna give them a tiny, tiny little hug. I had to take a closer look at the lounge fly and I brought it over here, right behind Oswald's butt. <laughs> but anyway, okay, this is really cute. And I know this is not gonna be like the most popular bag either, even though I think the attention to detail is fantastic. Like, first off, I just like all the cosplay bags. I think they're really cute. But this one has donkey ears that you can move around. Wait, you can move them out, can't you? Never mind, you can't. I thought you could like swing them around so they weren't showing. No, you have to have them there, but it does have a tail. And then it has Jiminy Cricket back there and the umbrella's embroidered, but he is printed. It's nice and crisp looking though. And then this is really nice high quality vegan leather. Although it doesn't have a grain to it, it is perfectly smooth. But then check it out. We have the detailing of Pinocchio's outfit. And then Pinocchio just looks really cute. Don't you think his little face? And then I love the actual buttons right here on the front pouch and it lifts up and I was noticing this too, it's a little bit bigger than the typical pocket. So it would fit a little bit more. I think that's really cute. And then look, the applique like sticks up, adorable. I also think the lining is fantastic. This is really great. I like how it complements the outside of the bag. It's different scenes. I think that's the top of Gideon's head, but that looks really good. And then very lastly, look at this. All the bags have this patch right there and applique. I think that's really cool. I came inside of Marceline's, which is the confectionery inside of downtown Disney. And the reason why we're here is because this is one of the locations where we have halfway to Halloween treats. And there's three treats. So we have the mini witch candy apple. We have the Oogie Boogie Rice crispy treat. And then where is it? Oh, right over here. He's hiding. We have the Jack Skellington cake pop. And I actually don't know what flavor it is because I've never gotten it before, but none of these are new, sadly. So like all these treats and like that's kind of a plain thing, right? I mean, I much prefer these ones that have like all of the M&Ms on them. He's just like a little plain is all. But then my favorite thing are in fact the candy apples. I do love them. I think they're such an underrated treat. Nobody really cares for them, but they're also definitely a take home treat because they won't cut them for you. So like, I just, you know, I wouldn't go to town with your teeth trying to gnaw into it. It's, it's just, I would, I mean, I've never done it before, but I imagine it's unpleasant. But anyway, let's get something because we're here to celebrate halfway to Halloween. I'm weak. I'm so weak. I'm insanely weak. I bought all three items, okay? I, I fell for their plan. I fell for exactly what they wanted me to do, which was to buy these things. What's wrong with me? And the worst one, the most egregious one, is this one. He's the most boring, the most plain. He has nothing to give us, okay? He's literally giving us nothing. And, you know, at least the other Halloween Rice Krispie treats, so usually they'll come out with like a Mickey shaped one and they've done him before, like the Mickey shaped one as like a spider web with like crunchy sugar crystals. 
or I feel like they did in even years prior to that they made it look like the candy apple so they made it look like a witch mini and those were really cute those were really really cute they also had sugar crystals so they were giving something you know this guy nothing I fell for it I totally fell for it but anyway maybe somebody I know will want him I feel bad I don't even I don't even like oogie boogie he's gross he's full of bugs but okay what I really wanted well one I love these so I don't feel bad about this this is gonna be a really good treat at home especially given the fact that RIP the Snickers cookie I couldn't take it home but this guy okay I didn't even ask in the store like what flavor it was I wanted to be surprised but also I wanted to be surprised because the last cake pop I had here at Disneyland was for Easter and I really didn't like it so I have a feeling I'm not gonna like this but you know maybe I'll be I should be optimistic right maybe I'll like it let's hope okay I'm gonna go ahead and give him a little bite let's put bets right now is it chocolate or is it cake wait cake pop what am i saying or is it vanilla i think it's gonna be chocolate we'll see vanilla you know what this is actually way better than that bunny one the bunny one was also uh it was vanilla it was not good my nose is so itchy right now I feel like it's the bugs in the air. There's a lot of bugs, it's summer. Ugh. <laughs> this is another reason why I don't like the heat because bugs come out, but anyway. <laughs> I don't know where that logic was going. This is way better than that bunny one. The bunny one was like, it was like pressed in like a mold. It just wasn't appetizing. This one is like a little bit softer, a little bit more organic than the other one. The other one felt like plasticky. But yeah, this is actually pretty good. I do not feel like I was had with this. I mean, maybe a little bit. <laughs> So there we have it. It is a wrap on our DCA slash food and wine slash halfway to Halloween day. And can I just say, I do we are we disappointed in the halfway to Halloweenness? I'm jealous of Walt Disney World because they got a special popcorn that you had to like say a secret code word at the popcorn shop for. And like, why didn't they do that for us? You know, we we would have liked it too. Then again, we also we have the better park. I mean, not. I, Everyone has their opinions. I just, I have a soft spot for Disney. So I'm like, you know, Disneyland, Disneyland. <laughs> but yes, all around a very fun day. And we got to finally say goodbye to food and wine. Well, I'm not like finally, but you know, we got to say goodbye to it. And no more Snickers macarons for at least another year. But anyway, a very fun day for me. I hope you guys had fun coming along and hanging out with me. And yes, thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. <laughs> okay, see ya. Wait, I feel so silly. I feel silly because I thought that it was just the three treats at the confectionaries, but I just remembered that there's also a specialty churro that I didn't get. I didn't show you. <laughs> Whoops, okay, anyway, this is available in Downtown Disney. So there's two churro carts. They're both California Churro Company. And by the way, they have a Fruity Pebbles churro that I've never had, but I've always wanted. The churros here are really good. They're very fluffy. But this is a halfway to Halloween churro, and it's a churro rolled in cinnamon sugar, cut in half, drizzled with peanut butter, and chocolate sauce topped with yummy peanut butter candy pieces okay it looks delicious it looks very festive but unfortunately i cannot have a single bit of sugar more absolutely not my body will not allow it so unfortunately we're just going to have to imagine and i'm pretty sure we know exactly what it's going to taste like it's going to taste great so yeah i feel dumb for for getting this <laughs> Hi, the video's not over yet because I feel even more dumb. I forgot that Kayla's Cakes also has a special macaron and it's obviously very festive, very cute. And I thought that maybe it would be like pumpkin spice or something, but no, it's Fruity Pebble, which I don't mind. That's one of my favorite flavors, but I don't know. I kind of would have maybe liked it to be a pumpkin-y, spicy type of flavor. But either way, yes, I feel very dumb for not showing you the churro or Kayla's Cakes macaron, okay? It's fine. <laughs> anyway, this is the end of the video, guys. Bye!